felt like my heart could just jump up because I was so scared. I was speaking to myself, why are you here? This is dangerous. This is not for you. This is not the person that you are. But I have to do my job. I went in and I did what I had to do. I grew up in Bonteville, Cape Town. It could be very dangerous. The gangsters and the shooting, you don't know when they might shoot. Mommy, I'm coming back. Mommy, have you coffee? Have you please? Mommy? Yes. Three seconds, huh? Have you Dankie. We gaan dit nou op die peis. Ons moet daar een week, maar nie standby. Waar die season begin nou so. Ek het nooit gedink sy sal vir jy feit kon doen nie. Omdat sy was een baie skaam kind. Baie sag. Nooit baie gepraat nie. Het jy alles ingepak? Nog net my koots inpak. Jou charger? Ik heb een charger. 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 Ik heb een it's not so much that we can talk about it because we don't talk about it because we never get the chance to express how we feel or in that type of way. But it is, it, it makes me very emotional to know that mommy is so full because we have a bond that we have a time, but we have a time for real, even the work that I now do. It's very fast. So, yeah. When we first started, there was no uniforms designed for women. I remember when I had to do the fittings, when I put it on the fence, and then I was like, okay, must this fence be so big because I was keeping it in the one side coming out. So we said, no, 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 we're just altering the sizes for the, for the females. The Juliette crew is the only all-female firefighting crew in South Africa. Okay, ladies, we're going to do them to check. So I'll start with the radio. It's like a lifeline. Everyone have their helmets. Myself and Google. We signed up to be a part of the Juliet crew together, the original Juliet team. We got very close at that time. Okay. Can your head still fit there? And your big head now. Your clipper can clip on. How can they go? She's very outspoken. She is the opposite part of me, actually, because whatever needs to be said, she says it. Me, I'm not Hong Kong. I'm real Macquarie. Yeah. <laughs> she always motivates me to wanting to speak or say what I have to say. Um, we have been contracted to be on standby, so we won't be able to go home now. I'm not sure how long it will be. 
because we didn't get the roster yet. It might be three months. When we're on standby, fire season, we just sit, wake up in the morning, we dress up, obviously, and then we just sit around and wait for a fire pool. And sometimes it's boring because then you don't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> You know, the other day now, I saw a lot of tortoises. And I always get to see a tortoise when I'm working. So I search now, like, what does it mean? As a tortoise, it knows that it always has everything it needs within its shell. Like how I am. Always in my own shell. In African cultures, near like in ours, people believe having a tortoise, like, in the house, it brings luck. Mm -hmm. It chases away evil spirits. So she's not going to be here at all this week. Maybe next week she's Or maybe even next week she won't be here. Yo, 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 yo. Our senior squad leader, she's at home. She did test positive for COVID, but she wasn't in contact with us um, this week. So we, that's here, we are safe. So it's either myself or Viseka that's going to stand in. So we just have to, have to prepare ourselves for that. Hi! <laughs> I must be a man. I miss you guys that side, really. It's very a yellow different vibe. He in. That's what I think for the eyes, us. Yeah. We are not normal um, firewomen, but we are wildland firewomen. So as wildland firefighters, what we do is we work out in the mountains, securing the mountains and saving the mountains, saving animals. That one was before. So what is the plan, Tara, now? So we're going to hike up. It's just a fire drill. And then we're going we're gonna to find our way back to the vehicle again, OK? So I will take the lead on this one. But I do need your assistance in this. You have to work together. Without your team, you can't go woman alone or man alone into the line. We'll go all the way on the left flank. It's all still in order with the crew. Everyone's still doing good. Still good, Heron. OK. Everyone have enough water to drink? Yes. Being a firefighter, I would change me. Um, I actually started fighting fire with fire, I'd say. I think my own fire was fire. That's where it changed me because it, it opened my eyes um, to sh and it showed me that I'm actually strong. Do you ladies remember the fire we had in Yonkersuk? The one where we almost, we thought we were almost gonna die. Yo, that was a hectic one. We had to lay, literally lay down the flames up above our heads. We could see that Stuff is like coming onto us like we literally had to run because, because the, the flames, flames were following us. Yeah. We started hiking. We thought everything was out, but then the wind did something else and it, it changed, changed and then it came energy. back to us. We just saw it light lit up again. I thought that we're going to die here. Uh, really, we were all panicking. We were like, we need to get out here. All we knew is that we couldn't give up. So. That made us stronger the time when we stood up as a team and we just started moving out. When I'm facing the fire, I'm the one in control. I take control of that fire because I'm the one that puts that fire out.